In this segment, we're going to talk about selecting the proper tool for plastics. But before we can begin, we need to understand about the type of plastic being cut. Here at Onsrud, we break plastic into three categories, soft, hard, and mechanical plastic. Now, these categories do not reflect any of the physical properties of the plastic, but how a chip is formed, which will allow us to select the best tool possible. Soft plastic materials generally come in cheap form and are flexible, impact resistant, and can be gummy. When you cut it, it forms a chip which curls on itself and breaks free, very similar to that of aluminum or steel. Some popular soft plastics are extruded acrylic, ABS, polypropylene, or polyethylene. Now hard plastics are generally very rigid and come in cheap form also. When you cut it, it produces a chip which is either granular fashion or it comes off as a thin shaving. Some examples of hard plastic can be PVC, cast acrylic, or nylon. Now the third type of plastic is mechanical plastic. Now this is a specialty material because it is designed for a specific purpose. It could be high strength, chemical resistance, or impact stability. Mechanical plastic, when cut, the chip will curl on itself very similar to that of soft plastic. The most popular tools for soft plastic are 63-750 series. These are a solid carbide single edge upcut O-flute. The single edge tools work well since the O-flute promotes the proper chip formation by allowing the chip to curl in the O-flute, which is a half moon shape, and then cause the chip to break. The single edge design prevents heat from building up and causing chip rewelding. These tools are available from 1 16th through 3 8 diameters, and if a larger diameter is needed, I highly recommend you use a two flute. The 62-750 series has the same cutting geometry as a 63-750, but is a down cut. The down cut flute helps hold small parts in place, but may cause chip rewelding as the chips have no place to go. Putting a groove in the spoil board will allow the chip a place to fall and expand and prevent chip rewelding from occurring. The next popular series is our 52-600 series. These are a solid carbide two flute upcut O flute and are designed to cut soft or hard plastic. The product offering ranges from one quarter diameter to three quarters diameter and work well for larger parts where a high feed rate can be achieved. The 52-700 series is a solid carbide two flute upcut also. This series is available from 1 8 to 1 inch in diameter and works well for large parts where high feed rates can be achieved. These tools also have longer flute lengths which allow thicker parts to be cut and the specialized point geometry will give you a good bottom finish. These tools work very well in mechanical plastics or soft plastic. Now when cutting hard plastic, the most popular tool to use is our 56-000P series. This is a solid carbide double-edged straight V-flute and works well for materials 3 8 inch or thinner. These tools are available in 1 8 to half inch diameters. Now this style of cutter has a V-flute geometry which allows the chip to form and break on itself, resulting in a good, in a good edge finish. Now the cutting characteristics of plastic varies based on the manufacturer or the color of the material. Some hard plastics like an O-flue cutting geometry and in that case our 63-700 or 62-700 series works well. These are very similar to the 63-750 series but they have a different rake and clearance angle which creates a good edge finish in hard plastics. These tools are available from 1 16th through 3 8 diameters and if a larger diameter is needed, you want to use the 56-000P series. The last tool is our 60-200 series, which is a solid carbide three flute finisher and is available in an upcut or a downcut flute. When a smooth edge finish is needed, this is a tool to use. Now this tool should only be used as a finishing tool, except for when cutting cast acrylic. 
Then this can be used as a rougher slash finisher and produce a finished edge in one pass. Now we talked about the different types of plastics available as well as our most popular tool series to cut this. You can reference the index in the front of our catalog and it will break down the specific types of plastics that would fall under a soft plastic or a hard plastic as well as it will list all the tools that are designed to cut that material. So please reference our catalog for further details.